Hello, Sanpat San. No, hello everyone. Good afternoon. One o'clock. Yes, summertime. One o'clock. Uh, learn Chinese in Taiwan live session. We are live on Facebook and also on YouTube. So, dear participants, students, audience, teacher, parents, brothers and sisters, everyone in Mongolia, welcome to our channel on Facebook and also on YouTube. So today we have teachers from the Chinese Language Center at Wenzhou Ursuline University of Languages, Wenzhou Waiyu Daxue. So join Chinese program at Wenzhou. Wenzhou is the Taiwan's best and the only university of language since year 1966. Yes, that was a long time ago. So dear participants, if you have any questions, please don't be shy, please. Type it down, write us your comments, and send us your message. So right now, we would like to invite uh, the teachers from Wenzhou to give us the presentation about learning Chinese at Wenzhou University, please. OK. Thank you, Ivy. Welcome to Wenzhou Chinese Language Center Street. Firstly, I would like to sing a song for you. <clears throat> 我在到这一件事我在哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦哦
So unfortunately, it seems that the technical issue is still there. So it's kind of strange that we couldn't hear the sound of the video. So uh, about uh, how about the teachers from Wenzhou University? Is there any way you can show us the PPT or any way that we can replace the video to share one more time? Uh, let's do the sharing again. How about this one? Can you play this video? So unfortunately, it seems like the technical issue is still there. Uh, no sound. You have to open your sound. Open the sound. When you are sharing the screen, please open the sound. Can you do the sharing again? You close the window and do the sharing again. And when you are ready to share your screen, you have to click to share the sound. On the left bottom corner, you will see a square and you have to tick to share the sound of the video. Good stuff. Thanks for having me. Hello, everyone. I'm Sabine, a specialist in the Wenzhou Chinese Language Center. Let me introduce our school to you, Wenzhou Ursula University of Languages. So, can you tell us where is Wenzhou? Oh, Wenzhou, okay. Wenzhou is located at Kaohsiung City in the southern western part of Taiwan. You can see the location of Taiwan and Kaohsiung City from the map. So, can you tell us more about Kaohsiung? Mm, of course. Speaking of Kaohsiung City, you may not be so familiar with it. Let me give you a short introduction. Kaohsiung City is one of the six major cities in Taiwan. Kaohsiung not only has unique features of mountain, sea, river, and port, but also has a rich cultural and beautiful cityscape. As I said, it's located of Kaohsiung City. You may not be so familiar with it. Let me give you a short introduction. Kaohsiung City is one of the six major cities in Taiwan. Kaohsiung not only has unique features of mountain, sea, river, and port, but also has a rich cultural and beautiful cityscape. As I said, it's located in the southern western part of Taiwan. The climate here is full of sunny days during summer and warm during winter. It's between 30 degrees Celsius to 20 degrees Celsius on average in a year. Sounds like a good place to go. Mm. So, can you tell us more about the surrounding of Wenzhou? Of course. It is also convenient for people to live, move, eat, and so on. You can take airplanes, high-speed rail, trains, MRT, buses, or even public bicycles to anywhere. You can eat all kinds of food here, in the restaurants or in the night market. There are abundant landscapes of Kaohsiung, such as Chai Mountain, the Lotus Pond, and the Love River flowing through the city. I think the most important thing is that the living cost here is much cheaper than in the north or middle of Taiwan. I think we will tell you later. Kaohsiung is located in southern Taiwan. It is a warm, welcoming city. Kaohsiung is one of the major cities in Taiwan, a maritime city with mountains, beaches, a river, and a harbor. With a friendly environment, cultural opportunities, and rich natural resources, 
Kaohsiung is ideal for people who like a leisurely life of work and study. Thank you, Sabine. I believe all our audiences know Kaohsiung well. Mm -hmm. So, can you let us know when is the school founded? Oh, sure, of course. Our school has been the best university of languages in Taiwan since 1966. It was founded by the Sisters of the Roman Union of the Order of St. Ursula. Hmm. Let's say if I take an airplane to Taoyuan or mm -hmm. Taipei, how mm -hmm. do I go to Wenzhou? If you are from Taoyuan Airport, you can do as follows. First, you can take Taoyuan MRT from Taoyuan Airport to High Speed Rail Taoyuan Station. It's called A18. And then take High Speed Rail from Taoyuan to Kaohsiung called Zhuoying Station. But if you are from Taipei, you can take high speed rail from Taipei to Kaohsiung. And when you arrive at high speed rail Zhuoying Station, you can take Kaohsiung MRT from Zhuoying Station to Kaohsiung Arena Station. Finally, you can take a bus of R36 or ride a public bicycle to our school. How about if I take an airplane directly to Kaohsiung Airport? How do I go to school? That's much easier than from Taoyuan or Taipei. If you are from Kaohsiung International Airport, you can simply take the Kaohsiung MRT from the airport to Kaohsiung Arena Station. Then take a bus of R36 or ride a public bicycle to our school. And that's it. Okay, now that I know how to go to Wenzhou, mm -hmm. let's say if I study at Wenzhou, is mm -hmm. there any places I can go like on weekends so that I don't feel bored? Oh, okay. So right now, let's talk about the fun places near the school. Students usually go to the school's back entrance for food. There are all kinds of small restaurants, small bars, beverage shops, and convenience stores. You can drink the famous pearl milk tea for only one US dollars. There are also famous night market and landscapes nearby, such as Raifeng Night Market, Kaohsiung Arena, Hansen Arena Shopping Plaza, Lotus Pound, and there is a Confucius temple there. And we also have Kaohsiung Museum of Fine Arts, Chenqing Lake, and so on. See, there are lots of fun places for you to explore. What is the strength of a university? It is the spirit of pursuing knowledge. It is the legacy of wisdom. It is the gateway to a living history. It is the path that leads to the exploration of the unknown. Originating in 1535 and continuing in a tradition of profound belief in the value of education for society, education in Wenzhou Ursuline University of Languages provides not only instruction in knowledge and skills, but also inculcation of life's value and goals. Located in Kaohsiung City, Wenzhou is the only university of languages in Taiwan, upholding the core values of three L's, life, language, and leadership. Wenzhou offers professionalism and diversified technological training facilitated by an increasingly intelligent learning environment to connect students to the world in their career development. Wenzhou empowers students in cross-disciplinary and multilingual approaches and forms a resourceful talent bank for enterprises. In the era of digitization, Wenzhou equips university intellectuals with a spectrum of studies from the humanities to technological applications. Creativity is inspired by digital materials and real career applications. 
Collaboration enforces students' design, planning, and problem-solving capabilities. Innovative approaches in the studies of humanities are perfectly complemented by digital expertise. With interactive communication and in-depth presentation, language learning activates students' critical thinking and reflective ability for their future challenges. Learning is no longer a one-way approach, but more of a teamwork and advancement from experience. The value of life depends on the meanings we give to it. Knowledge matures through experiences and is internalized as a part of our essence. In the Wenzarian spirit, we pave the way to the world. Wenzhou links the academic horizons in a global perspective for students to fulfill themselves, to cross the boundaries, and to create a future together. Wenzhou Ursuline University of Languages enables all to see how it serves the world. Now, I would like to invite another colleague of mine, Stephen Lin, to give us more information about Chinese Language Center. Okay, thank you so much, Gustav. I'm so happy to be here and tell you about the Wenzhou Chinese Language Center. This is the really main point. And also today's main point, learning Chinese at Wenzhou, as you know, Wenzhou is the best and the only university of languages in Taiwan. In 2002, Wenzhou established the Chinese Language Center for International People Learning Chinese. Until now, our center has more than 4,000 students learning Chinese here. There are about 300 students learning Chinese here every year. Let's see what the Wenzhou Chinese Language Center looks like. Our center is located in a three-story building in Wenzhou. There is our center's office and a classroom for self-study with computers on the first floor. There are 10 classrooms for Chinese classes on the second floor, all of which are equipped with computers. There are three classrooms for Chinese classes and one Chinese-style classroom for cultural classes on the third floor. Besides, we have a gym, cafeterias, an indoor stadium, and lots of outdoor seats on the trees in the campus. Okay, and what kind of Chinese classes do our center have? In-person group class. It is a seasonal class with nine different levels from beginner to advanced, which starts in March, June, September, and December every year. In-person one-on-one class. It is fully customized and can start anytime. Online group class. Now you can apply for the 2021 Autumn Online Group class of beginner level. Otherwise, you also can experience a free online group class for Hanyu Pinyin and pronunciation at 3 p.m. on August 9 and August 11. Online one-on-one -on -one class. It is fully customized and can start anytime too. Short-term study tool. We can customize seasonal camps on your demand, including language courses, cultural courses, tutoring, field trips, and accommodation. In addition, we are able to arrange communication with local students or families, let you enjoy the complete Taiwan's life. Besides regular courses, is there any other course I can take? Okay, except for the Chinese language classes, our center also offers different kinds of free cultural classes or tutors to our students, such as Chinese mask painting, calligraphy, pepper cutting, seal carving, Taiwanese, Chinese tea culture, and so on. You also have free study consultation with teachers and free tutoring with Taiwanese students. Other than those classes, is there any other special things I can do? 
Oh, okay. Except for this Chinese class, we also have many activities and such as field trips, the New Year Gala, speech contest, singing contest, and so on. You have lots of chance to experience the local culture and show your learning outcomes. And you will enjoy those activities a lot. Hello,大家好,这周是我,戴安娜,一个住在台湾的格隆比安女孩 我知道我比较想待在不那么都市的地方学习，所以我上网找了一些资讯，好像是我最想去的地方。我想去最好的华语中心学习，最后我选择了文藻，但为什么呢？ 首先,文藻是台湾最好的语言大学,申请,过程非常简单,老师的经验丰富,我在这里学习汉语很开心,参加了书法课,也参加了中心里的语言书班的活动,而且我还参加了两次歌场赛。然后我开始到处在台湾旅行 Hi, welcome back. It's me, Stephen. Hey, Sabine, you changed your clothes and hairstyle. Yeah, I changed the clothes and hairstyle, especially for you. Don't you think our style matched perfectly? Okay, enough with those jokes. What are those books? Oh, those are the books we used at our center. If you study here, those are the books you need. Besides this question, I believe you must have many other questions. We have collected five questions, which the students usually have. Okay, question number one. Which characters and phonetics will be used in the Chinese classes? Well, traditional characters are definitely used in our old Chinese classes. As for the phonetics, Han Yu Pinyin will be used in the group classes. But in one-on-one -on -one classes, it depends on students. For students in one-on-one -on -one classes, they can choose to learn Han Yu Pinyin or Papa Ma. Well, someone may ask if it is hard to learn traditional characters. Honestly, learning the traditional ones is a little harder than simplified ones. However, the traditional ones have advantages such as, first, the traditional ones can be guessed from the radicals, but the simplified ones can only be memorized. Second, those who learn the traditional ones first can learn simplified Chinese easier and faster. Question number two. How to apply for our Chinese language courses? Here is the procedure of the application. First, prepare the e-files of the ID photo, passport, and financial statement. If you need to apply for a visa of learning Chinese, you need a financial statement. Second, link to our website and fill out the online application form. Third, upload your e-files to our website. Fourth, 
wait for two or three working days to verify your application. Fifth, tuition payment. A pro forma invoice of tuition will be sent to the applicant by email after the application is approved. You could pay the registration fee and tuition by cash, credit card, or remittance. Six, visa application. Students need to apply for the visa by themselves in closest ROC representative office or your country's foreign affairs office. Seventh, registration. Register in person at the Office of Chinese Language Center and take a proficiency test for class placement. Also, you don't need to have any Chinese proficiency. We have a beginning class for people who have never learned Chinese. If you still have questions, please contact our specialist, Gustav Chen, for more information. Question number three. What are the fees, including the tuition and the living cost in Kaohsiung? What? Come on, you change your clothes again? Yeah, why not? I want to show the different colors of clothes to our audience. All right, let's get back to our topic. Can you tell us the fee now? Mm, sure, why not? Here is the list of all kinds of fees. First, tuition of Chinese courses. One, in-person group courses. It is 11 weeks per term and 15 hours per week. The original price is 1,000 US dollars. The price after the discount, that will be 932 dollars. Two, in-person one-on-one course. If you take 20 hours per term, that will be 372 dollars. But if you take 10 hours per term, that will be $222. 3. Online group classes. It is 12 weeks per term and 10 hours per week. Original price is $1,715. And the price after the discount, that will be $1,180. 4. Online one-on-one -on -one class. If you take 20 hours per term, it is $580. But if you take only 10 hours per term, that will be $322. Okay, that's all about our tuition fee. Now, Stephen, it's your turn. Can you tell us about the living cost in Kaohsiung? Mm, living cost in Kaohsiung, it is much cheaper than the price in the north or middle of Taiwan. For housing, it is 180 or above per month for a room with its own bathroom. It's $107 or above per month rent for a room with a shared bathroom. Utility bills is $75 or above per month. If you use the air conditioner every day, it will be more. For food, it is about $350 or above per month. Thank you.